Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. First, I thought I made this video a while ago, but I couldn't find it. So hopefully I didn't make it uh, before. Uh, let me know if you find this video in, in my videos. Anyways, we have 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y equals 5 to the power z equals 30. And then we are being asked 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. I'll be presenting three methods, even though two of the methods are kind of similar to each other because they both use something that I'm going to talk about in a little bit. The third method is going to be pretty interesting. So let's get started with the, how about starting with the second method? Okay. So my second method is the following. 2 to the power x is equal to 30. I want to L on both sides. Let's do it once and then the others will automatically write it that way. So you can go ahead and move the x to the front. This gives you x ln 2 equals ln 30. And then if you do this with other ones, like you're going to get 3 to the power y is 30. And then this is going to give you when you ln both sides, y ln 3 is equal to ln 30. And then z ln 5 is equal to ln 30. We don't have to reinvent the wheel, like just do it once and then you can copy the pattern. So we get three equations. But they're not that interesting. Let's go ahead and isolate x, y, z from here. Because remember, our goal is to find the sum of the reciprocal. So it makes sense if I isolate x, y, and z here, right? x can be written as ln 30 over ln 2. y is ln 30 over ln 3. And z is ln 30 over ln 5. By the way, if you're not familiar with ln, it is the natural log with base e. Okay? So let's just use an argument here, maybe w. This means ln, natural log. Okay, I got x, y, z. Why don't we just evaluate their reciprocals? Now, if x is equal to this, I'm just going to flip it. ln 2 over ln 30. This is going to be ln 3 over ln 30. And this is going to be ln 5 over ln 30, right? Yay, we got a common denominator. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add these up. This is going to be ln2 plus ln3 plus ln5 over ln30. Oops, I can't even write ln30. All right, let me slow down. All right, so this is 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. That's what I'm trying to find. And what is that equal to, right? Well, we have this interesting property, like we can condense a sum into uh, the sum of logs turns into the log of a product and log and ln are interchangeably used here so we can write the ln 2 plus ln 3 plus ln 5 by using properties of logs as ln 2 times 3 times 5 you can't do the opposite if you have a product of logs you can't write it as the log of a sum no way but you can do this and then divide it by the same I just can't write ln 30 for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, this is what we get. But what is 2 times 3 times 5? Hmm, that's an interesting question. It's 30. So this is ln 30 divided by ln 30. And guess what? That is equal to 1. And that happens to be the answer. End of the second method. Let's go ahead and do the first method. And let's save the third one for last. First method. Some people are wondering, like, when you do the first method, second, doesn't that become second method? No, because first I come up with a number of methods, first, second, third, they rank that way, and then I introduce them in different order. So second method can be introduced first. All right, so first method, let's rewrite the equations. 2 to the x is 30, 3 to the y is 30, and 5 to the z is 30. Great. From here, we're going to, instead of aligning both sides, we're going to take the logs. Or, if you know the definition of logs, you're going to know that log is used to find the exponent. Exponent is usually the unknown. So from here, we can say that x can be written as log 30, which is this number, base 2. Because remember, 2 is the base, so it should go here. Make sense? And x is the unknown, which is the exponent, and that should be by itself. So from here, y is going to become log 30, base 3 z is going to be log 30 base 5. So this is my x, y, z. All right. So I can go ahead and evaluate 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. Just find the reciprocals. What, what's the reciprocal of log 30 base 2? I don't know. I'm just going to write it 1 over something. 
I'm just going to write it 1 over something, just that way. If you don't have any idea, just keep writing it and hopefully something will cl click. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I'm going to use the property, what is it called? The reciprocal property. So if you have 1 over log B base A, it can be written as log A base B. Make sense? They just switch around. Cool, easy, right? So this becomes log 2, log 3, oops, and log 5, all base 30. Now, we have the same situation, the sum of logs, and they all have the same base. By the way, in order for, uh, to you, for you to be able to condense, they all have to have the same base. So we can write it as log 30, I mean base 30, then 2 times 3 times 5. And that happens to be 30, and now you get log 30 base 30, which means 1, because log AA is 1. Make sense? Because a to the power 1 equals a. Just a well-known property of logs that comes from exponents. So the answer is 1, as before. That shouldn't be a surprise, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. The third method is the most interesting one for this. And if you are, you know, doing a math competition, this should be preferred, of course, if you can get to see it. But sometimes uh, time pressure you have to do brute force. So first two methods are kind of brute forcey. So the third method is going to be the following. 2 to the x is 30, and then 3 to the y is 30, and 5 to the z is 30. Let's take the first one. Can I raise both sides to the power 1 over x? And of course, provided that x does not equal 0. And you probably know x does not equal 0 because 2 to the power 0 equals 1. That doesn't equal 30. So we can do it. But when you do, the x cancels out, and you end up with something real cool, which is 30 to the power of 1 over x equals 2. And you can do the same thing here. 30 to the power of 1 over y equals 3. If you just raise both sides to the power of 1 over y, just like before, you get that. If you raise both sides to the power of 1 over z, then z cancels out, and you get something very similar. 30 to the power of 1 over z equals 5. And guess what? We're going to multiply these all together. Why? Why not? So let's do it. When you do, you're going to get 30 to the power 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z equals 2 times 3 times 5, and that is just 30. And notice that 30 to the power something equals 30. That needs to be 1. Therefore, 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z must be 1 in order for this to work. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.